there's the famous cassowary closer to a cassowary especially looking at those gigantic isn't it beautiful Kim yes looking at those gigantic um, feet it's just mind-boggling and I just had to show this to you because I've never seen it from this perspective I've seen cassowaries in Australia yes and they are absolutely true one of the most dangerous birds it's a bird uh, that can kick incredibly strong do not stand in front of it you have no live field doesn't look real you should have a live feed it should work then just refresh those feet are bigger than mine okay I've got size 14 I think you're talking about size 40 here so no comparison to my tiny feet Wow incredible isn't it crazy feet yes I've never seen anything like this yeah it does have the horn the typical cassowary horn and it really looks like a dinosaur descendant I just wanted to show you this and then let's move on again let's move on I'm just going to turn my camera around quickly so I'm a lot better I'm a bit better acclimatized now to this crazy <laughs> crazy heat I'm still sweating but it doesn't matter um, I got my camera equipment in the bag um, he does walk yes but um, it's I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like from a different perspective um, let's see where he is he's right there so we're looking down from a bamboo fence and um, he's about um, 10 feet away from me okay 10 feet very nice very nice perspective here but definitely not I don't want I wouldn't want to go in there and share the space with uh, with this incredible bird <laughs> get a selfie yeah <laughs> you get a selfie from me now because I can't do a selfie because <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even think of the selfie thing. Yeah, isn't that funny with the with the world of selfies? Where, uh, everything has changed so much with the selfie. How tall he is! He's quite tall actually. When he stands up, um, he would he would nearly be my height, really. <laughs> yeah, the world of selfies is crazy. But let's take a walk. It's much better now. I've acclimatized. I got all my heavy. You have nothing. What does that mean? You have nothing. You should have something. Let me just flip the camera around again. Um, anyway there's our friend and what I want to do is I want to go inside the how tall am I I'm six foot five corresponding to one meter 96 my my shoe size is 14 the cassowary's shoe size is 40 and larger maybe 50 or so you got excellent feed I'm glad it's not the feed because you should have a good feed I'm trying to give you the very post uh, the best feed but what I wanted to really go into is a huge aviary with you. Hopefully, um, this is not metal, which uh, would seclude um, any any signal coming in. So let's give it a try. Um, it's a it's it's really an exquisite aviary. So let's go in. What they have here is, of course, the you know different types of hornbill. Really beautiful tropical birds. So let's take a look. Yes, try and reload. The cardinal they have here, blackbird and so on. Really beautiful. Let's go inside the aviary. Hopefully my, um, my signal will not cut off here because if this is a metallic fence, I will not receive any reception. So let's hope for the best. I may be gone briefly as I walk through this metallic cage, but um, let's, hope, let's hope it gets back. Okay, I'm in now. I'm inside a huge aviary. You can see that. And we should find... Not fair, I'm sorry you don't get a signal. It's really strange because I think uh, the, you know, all others are picking up a good signal. Yeah, that's, that's a pity. But um, again, this is a huge aviary as you can see with a net looking beautifully tropical so I'm going to try and see where the hornbills are 
try another browser that's a good suggestion yes yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry you have these problems because fortunately my signal is good so I'm going to let you enjoy this one second I'm just going to try and stabilize the phone a bit Okay, isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's carry on. Have you have you seen any birds of paradise yet? I'm. Uh, we might see them in here. The answer is I don't know, but they um, they seem to be. So far I've only seen ducks, but um, hummingbirds should be here too. But I need to open my eyes. Oh my goodness, I think I see something really beautiful. Look at that, look at this. There you go. I have to try and stabilize it so you can enjoy enjoy these beautiful parrots here. I've never seen such exquisite colors. I might have to build up my camera in order to give you a better view. Um, hang on, I'm just going to put my uh, bag, uh, I'm going to take off my very heavy rucksack and try and stabilize this so this view so that you can um, enjoy this better so hang on hang on i'm going to try my best now and give you a stable view that's better that's better isn't that beautiful look at them all sitting in a row here the shake is not from me that seems to be something wrong with the uh, with the stabilizer here but um <laughs> they're so beautiful the way they're sitting there <laughs> I have to get I should get out my <laughs> I should get up my camera and just photograph this it's so cute <laughs> oh it's such a cute picture my neck I really have to bend my neck upwards I'm not an owl with a 270 degree turn <laughs> But it's just so beautiful. I hope I hope you could see that. Oh my goodness, even a rooster I can hear here. There's another beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry about the about, about the feed. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry, but um, I don't know what to say. But I can show you something exquisite. I'm going to go very carefully here, very slowly. He's almost in the line of sight here. So this is better than we've ever had it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's nice and stable now. Isn't that beautiful? And another one comes in, and another one. Look at that. They're so close. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Susan, that you're having such problems. I don't understand why that is the case. Oh, it must be something with your browser related, because I think I'm streaming very, uh, very, um, very stable now. They are so photogenic, aren't they? And I can hold this nice and... Uh, oh, you do not care. You're very upset. I understand. I understand.
I'm just going to let you enjoy this view because it's so um, oh, it's just so beautiful it's so funny to hear a rooster here it just doesn't make sense Oh, Susan, that's terrible. Hey, you might have to look at the replay. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to zoom in and let you enjoy these absolutely exquisite birds. Oh, look at that. They're all posing now for you. Susan, I won't tell you, but they're all posing. <laughs> they want the picture taken. I guess you have to take the picture for me because I'm, I'm streaming live. But my goodness, this must be an exquisite picture if you can take one. Absolutely exquisite. They look so calm, they are. <laughs> They're posing for me. It's so funny, they really are. They really are. I think they're expecting some food. They're so tame. And you can hear them. <laughs> Oh, and they're talking. I did a screen capture. Now they're talking. Now they're really showing off. <laughs> okay. Really beautiful. Okay, I'm slowly going to get up again. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I know. Yes, hello. The camera is about three, three feet away now. Oh, that's it. I'm not giving them any food. Then they said, it's enough. I'm not going to show off anymore for you. <laughs> Oh, that's where they're eating. Look at that. Here we go. So that's where they get their food. I hear an owl. Yes, I think you would. I do hear an owl too. Oh, it doesn't get more colorful than this. It's so beautiful. So this is what they eat. Look at that. It's a very healthy diet. Apple, pear, papayas, bananas, multivitamins, millet, seed, mix some crickets and some mealworms. If we ate like that, we would all be uh, turning over 90 and 100. That looks like a very healthy mix. That's why they're so healthy here. Mmm, yes, especially the crickets, right? <laughs> Rooster, yes, you love papaya, so do I. But mealworms, not so much. No, you know, Jackie, mealworms is not the first thing I think of in the morning, to be honest. <laughs> so, let's see where else we can go. Um, Let's go some, let's, let's see where else we can go. So if you still have energy, join me. Um, now what is this? They're going inside somewhere. Let's take a look. I'm very, I'm very curious as you know. Thank you so much. Well, Patty, if you still have a, have a wonderful time. I know it's a bit late where you are, but I'm going to go in here now. It's called Bird Discovery. And so we're going to discover this together. Hopefully there'll be a phone signal in there. I have no idea. Oh my goodness. That, that bird looks a little bit skinny. It, 
it doesn't seem to move anymore. <laughs> it looks a little bit skinny. I don't know where the feathers went. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit like a museum, okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to go and leave this. This is, a, this is a, a section where they don't feed the birds so much anymore. So let's go somewhere else. <laughs> it doesn't have so much meat on the bones, no. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Let's, let's enjoy ourselves. Let's walk a little bit more. And let's see what else there is. But I would rather prefer the not so skinny birds. No, they don't feed them very much anymore. <laughs> my laugh is infectious. Well, that's good. You know, if my laugh goes all the way from Singapore to wherever you are in the world, then I've achieved something, which is great. But people are so friendly here. They're always helpful when they see me broadcast. They are so friendly. So I'm slowly walking up a hill now just to conserve energy. And um, I'm hoping to see some turacos and some hornbills. Let's see where we are here. So this is another huge aviary. Oh my goodness, who are you? Look at that. Does anybody know what this is? Oh, I have to look. Now they have the condor too, but that's not the condor. Is any of you a bird expert and has any idea what this is? But that's not a condor. What is it? It's a bird. Good. Well, well seen. That's as good as my guess, right? Now, who are you? I have no idea, but it's a beautiful bird. Absolutely beautiful you are. My goodness, look at that. Got this incredibly... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have to leave this for David Hancock when I come back and ask him. I have no idea. And I, unfortunately, I do not see any um, um, any uh, ec um, but there's, there's a condor in here for sure. I can see the condor way up there. Um, wild looking for sure. <laughs> Thanks for it. Okay, so they have some vultures and some condors, but they're way up there. I can see them, but um, I'm still looking to see. Oh, this must be a king vulture. There you go. What we've just been looking at is a king vulture. A king vulture. Unlike other vultures, king vultures use their keen eyesight to spot carcasses instead of their sense of smell. That's interesting. That's interesting. King vultures have very powerful beaks, which gives them an advantage over other vultures when opening carcasses. So the king vulture, that's him, that's him. So that's interesting. I didn't know that there are vultures that do not use a sense of smell. You see, we learn all the time. So they are similar to eagles because these type of vultures use their eyesight rather than their smell. Now this is very interesting. I thought all vultures depended on smell, but it's not true. Well, and now I'm going to go up these stairs here. Beautiful, you love vultures, but he's the prettiest, isn't he? So that's the king vulture. Let's walk up these stairs now. And he's watching the photographer with his eyesight, yes. And he's probably got the eyesight of an eagle. Incredible, isn't it? So there, that's our king, that's our king vulture. Now we learned something. It is interesting. I, you know, I'm always a, a, a amazed at how little I actually know. So here are all kinds of kites, raptors. which I cannot see well at the moment. Oh, here's a hawk eagle. Oh, crested hawk eagle, what a strange name. 
Hornbill feeding at 11.45, where? Oh my goodness. Hornbill feeding at 11.45. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder where that is. I'm always amazed at the vast array of species, so am I, and the subspecies. And um, I'm always amazed how little I actually know. <laughs> or maybe I should say how little we know. You know, even the experts about nature around us. Yeah, Hawk Eagle is Spunky's dad. Yeah, it must be, right? It must be. He's hiding there, I'm quite sure. By the way, I will be visiting Spunky or Stephen Hawkins on August the 6th, Vancouver Island. Mark that in your calendar. And um, I will surely be broadcasting live from there. Excuse me, where's the hornbill feeding? Or the Oh, it's already. No, oh, thank you. Oh dear, I think we missed it. We missed the hornbill feed, which is a pity. Ah. There's a lot of walking. Absolutely, I'm getting better at this. By the way, I'm slowly acclimatizing. So. Here are the window of paradise. So these must be these beautiful. Let's go up there and have a look because some of you are asking, so where are these beautiful birds of paradise? And here we go. Let's walk up. It's 11.14 now. So where is it? Gee, where is this? Okay, if it's 11.40, then surely we haven't missed it. Okay, now I better hurry to wherever that is because I have no idea where that is. Hornbills across the window, okay. Well, I don't have time to look here. I'm just trying to find where this feeding is. And I've probably gone the wrong way. It's my apologies. Oops. Ah. I'm just trying to find out where it is. I gotta hurry. <laughs> just across from where you are. Okay, I'm gonna try and find out. Just across from where I am. Now that looks like hornbills there to me. I can see lots of hornbills. So maybe that is the place. Hang on. I think you may you may just be right. Hornbills. Now here are the hornbills. Now if there are hornbills here, they should be feeding here, right? So let's walk up here. This is obviously the one of the big attractions here. Yes, these birds are caged. They are. In in it's near station number two. Okay. Well you know what? I'm going to walk up these stairs now because it gets us right to the hornbills. What kind of weird sound? Sorry, I can't always read. I'm puffing here. Oh, let me just take a rest one second. And, uh, oh, look at that, how they're crying. Okay, I'm just gonna take a rest here. One second. Oh. They have such odd bird sounds. Those are, hor I mean, there are about 15 different species of hornbills that they have here. And that's one of the hornbill types. I'm just going to um, position myself. And I am taking a break. So there's a horn. 
Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. Look at that. And look at this one. Incredible. Sounds like cats, doesn't it? Birds sounding like cats. You're so right. It's frozen. I'm sorry, Amanda, just refresh. Try and refresh your page because I should have a very good signal here. But it sounds like cats, it's absolutely true. It shouldn't be frozen, it should not. Because I think I have quite a good signal here. You're doing an awesome job, thank you. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Try and... Not frozen here, good. Have you ever heard a bird sound like a cat? Isn't that incredible? I'm just going to walk around here, just leaving my equipment here. Um, so they have all kinds of different hornbills here. My dog is wondering <laughs> what the heck I'm watching. I bet. I bet that's the case. Wow, it's so dense here with leaves. It is buffering some. Okay. Okay. So here's the great hornbill. Up there is the great hornbill. You can't see it very well because of the light here. Oh, there are a few birds here that don't seem to move so much anymore. They're behind glass and they're just sitting there. Now uh, they're rather quiet. <laughs> okay, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, the family, I just watched the bird show replay. Thank you, Mark. That's good. That's probably the best thing I could show you today was the raptor show. So I'm now in the horn, uh, where the hornbills are, and we have all these really strange sounds, sounding sound like cats. My dog came running that thinks it's a cat. I could do that too. Yes. Oh, look at him. Very quiet. It sounds like a dog laughing, yes. He's certainly looking at us now and wondering. By the way, those are not sounds of, those are not his sounds, they are other sounds. I love this laugh, isn't it? <coughs> hornbills, yes, there are many different types of hornbills, and they specialize in hornbills here. Yeah, what a big eye, isn't that incredible? What a build! Amazing looking bird it is, it is. Okay, so, anyway, I sh uh, let me just turn, flip the camera. I'm going to take another water break now. <laughs> My cat's going crazy, isn't it? It's, uh, it's going crazy with the sounds. And um, at the moment they're very quiet, but I think very soon you'll be hearing these cat cries again from a bird, which is really strange, isn't it? But it's lovely being here despite the heat. Ah, there you go. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris is known, known in Port Hardy, the eagle man with the big lens, yes. <laughs> That's right. My birds are going crazy. Yes. Listen to that. Well. It's behind me. Well. That's the hornbill behind me. 
There he is. There he is. Ah, you're most welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to do this, really it is. So this is what you call a trumpeter, a trumpeter hornbill. Trumpeter hornbill. Yes, that's me now, sorry. But that's, the one before was, um, they understand more about the cry than we do, yes. Isn't that incredible? And there's a beautiful peacock in there too. I will have a good break, thank you. I'm going to have a break now. And I hope you enjoyed the sounds. Maybe sometimes the visual is not as good as I would like it to be. Because it's very difficult to, to go, be, you know, get, get good pictures behind, uh, you know, behind the aviaries. If you're inside. Oh, you're most welcome. It was absolute pleasure. Especially the sounds that you have here. And thank you so much for your kind donations. I have to always repeat that because that keeps me going. It really keeps me going. And uh, I do value that so much. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Well, I'm so glad I can give you some enjoyment in your day. That makes me very happy. It gives, gives a lot of meaning to life to give, to give something across to you that you enjoy. That means a lot to me. Thank you. That means a lot. Really, it does. So thank you, thank you for taking the time. And um, if there's anything else to broadcast, I will. Otherwise, um, I may have been through the park now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yes, I'll be back soon again. Probably back from the Science Museum. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Jolie. Thank you, Sea Eagles. And you have these beautiful sounds here. Yes. Saludos, Puerto Rico, gracias. Nada, de nada. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, I'm very much okay. I'm just warm, but I'm fine now. I've, I'm, I'm acclimatizing. I'm taking it easier. I'm leaving on Tuesday, so I'm leaving after tomorrow. I have another astrophotography lecture that I'm giving tonight, about four hours. So I'm going to go back to the hotel, take a shower, take it easy. And all that's going very well. I'm absolutely enjoying it in Singapore. It's an amazing place, amazing. And I'm sure I'll be back here again. There's just so much to see. But you have to be careful with your energy here, for sure. Thank you, Jackie. And, and, and thanks, everybody. And uh, have, have a wonderful evening. It's getting late for you now, I know. So I'll see you again probably tomorrow or so. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.